You know, and we've we've not budged. We've used that car now for six years. And I've said to Mary, we're going to use it for at least 10 years. You know, because I... Like, <laughs> <laughs> face. <laughs> I don't care what anyone thinks, what anyone says, what anyone feels. All I care about <laughs> is the peace, the no problems, the no wahalas, you know, like... That car is giving us a lot of peace. It and it has, still works. No, it it works really, really well. <laughs> so you might think, oh yeah, these guys, they might be doing all right financially. They must be upgrading their car. No way. <laughs> Bye, Tesla. Hey guys, there is a massive debt crisis ahead of us. According to the Money and Pension Service, 25% of all UK adults have less than £100 in savings. And if you think this is only in the UK, According to the Federal Reserve in America, 32% of Americans can barely meet an emergency that might cost them $400. Wow. Now you may think that high income earners are exempt, but actually there are not. There's a growing number of high income earners who are also living paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. And in today's video, we want to explore why this is and also share with you some practical tips to help you with your finances. Now, if you're really enjoying today's video and the sound of it, we'd appreciate just one favor. Please hit that subscribe button, show some love to our channel and help us as we grow and reach many more people. But before we start, a bit of intro for those who are new to our channel. I'm Ken, an accountant, former CFO, investor and entrepreneur. And I'm Mary, a digital marketer, a former e-business analyst and a business owner. Now, together as a couple, we run the Humble Penny and Financial Joy Academy with the goal of helping you take control of your finances, grow your money and ultimately create a life of financial joy. All right, let's dive straight in. So, What's our very first point? This is going to be a super, you know, lighthearted but very important video. We're going to be sharing point by point. So the very first reason why high income people are living paycheck to paycheck is because they live in expensive or large homes in expensive locations. Oof. Yes. So here's the thing. People who have overborrowed money, people who've bought property yeah. in, say, the last... Uh, two to three years, for example, mm. um, have borrowed so much money to buy properties at really high prices. And of course, we now have the, the situation where mm -hmm. interest rates are rising yeah. and a lot of those people who've overborrowed mm -hmm. to buy really expensive properties and now feeling the pain. And it goes beyond just mortgage, mortgage borrowers. It's now hitting renters who are mm -hmm. also living in those high uh, priced uh, locations. So if you're living anywhere near a city, say for example, London is a really good example, you'll be paying a lot of money for your accommodation, whether it's you renting that property or whether it's you buying that. Mortgage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And on top of that, people have upgraded. Oof. Right? So those who've gone from like maybe living a two bed or a three bed and saying, you know what, we want to kind of, you know, level up and buy a much more expensive property have suffered that lifestyle creep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the, it, what we say here, what we'd say to do here, and it's a pretty, di it's a pr pretty difficult one, um, it, it is, you know, Mary and I are for you buying a home if you can actually afford the home. If you bought it sensibly in a sensible location without overstretching yourself and over borrowing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if your mortgage is nowhere near 25% of your monthly payments, yeah. and you have a game plan to pay off that thing ASAP, then we're all for buying a house because it's what we've done. But if it doesn't match all those various things, then buying a house might not be what to do just yet. Mm -hmm. So what's our second reason why people are living paycheck to paycheck? Yeah, so next is that they have high lifestyle costs. Now, <laughs> if you look at the prices of certain food items or even petrol, prices have risen and remain high due to inflation. Mm -hmm. And as a result, so have our lifestyle costs. Now, a recent example is that we had somebody emailing us saying mm. that they had 80K in combined credit card debt. Ooh. But they were also asking us how that they may be able to afford private school fees. Wow. Right? Wow. And exactly. I was really shocked. 
And, you know, being in debt is one thing, mm. but it's another thing when people are blindly having lifestyle costs that don't really match up to their current financial situation. situation. What should they do in that situation? Yes, yeah, so in that do? situation, if you're in that situation um, where you are spending way above your means, we'd consider maybe spending three hours at, on your weekend, maybe mm. reviewing your finances. You cannot have everything at the same time, contrary True. to mm. what other people may be saying something has to give mm -hmm. so take three hours and really deeply review your spending over the last three months mm -hmm. and make a decision about where your money is going and also make hard decisions you have to yeah because the thing you said about private school in fact i love some people to react in the comments about that because mm -hmm. i think this is something that a lot of people will be feeling challenged by because yeah. They might have some deep-rooted beliefs, and it's not just that as an example. There might yeah. be other cost examples, mm -hmm. but they might have some deep-rooted beliefs around why yeah, of they, course. you know, they might want to stick to paying now. It might even be yeah. that one person in a relationship relationship says, "I want to keep paying it, even though we're borrowing." Because the example you give, they're clearly borrowing money by the sounds of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To fund that, and then the other yeah. person in a relationship might go, "Actually, no, one might want to do something else." Yeah. So it's a I difficult one. It is a difficult one. I guess and this is what will come up in the, you know, in the conversation and, and actually reviewing your finances, you know, and ask yourself what is the next best alternative. So mm. if private school fees isn't really an option for you based on your finances, is there a better, not a better, but is there another alternative mm. that may give you the results that you want? Mm. And, you know, another example is holidays. Now, don't get me wrong. We, we love, love holidays. We love holidays. <laughs> but if you're high in debt and you're living paycheck to paycheck you might want to reconsider booking that expensive holiday what's the mm. next best alternative to an expensive holiday yeah i think that one's gonna hit for people because it's the summer when we're making oh, this video and people want to like get out there but yeah. doing it with debt is difficult because then yes. you know you might be having that pina colada but you're just like man i'm going to be returning to that right? debt how can you enjoy yourself exactly how can you enjoy it returning exactly. to, to debt exactly. yeah so so and that's driven a lot by you know like fomo isn't it mm. people are like well people are going away so therefore i feel i need to so you really want to think about that carefully for your own personal circumstances yes. the third reason why people remain uh living paycheck to paycheck is that they have credit card debts so yesterday I was driving and I pulled up, uh, had a WhatsApp message from my brother who's in uh, Brazil at the moment. And he was like, oh, I've just received my credit card thing. He's got a little balance on his credit card that he collects points on. And it's like, they've increased my credit card rate to 29%. Wow. I'm like, wow. And I know he's not alone in that because the biggest thing that a lot of us will be struggling with right now is the price of money. Mm -hmm. You know, the interest rates going up all around us, yeah. yeah? And all of a sudden, all those pockets of money that are in different accounts, different credit cards, different loans, mm -hmm. are all rising at the same time. And it can mm -hmm. feel massively, massively out of control to the point where most people will only really be able to service their minimums. Mm -hmm. That will be it. You know, yeah. if they've got a bit of money left over in their budget, that budget will go towards paying for that minimum, which means, think about it, Oof. the goalpost has moved for most people when it comes yeah. to getting out of debt. This is yeah, why we have a yeah. massive debt crisis ahead, uh, even right now, as um, as these interest rates rise. So mm -hmm. what we would do if we were in no shoes would be to start with one debt. Mm -hmm. You've got to start somewhere. Because it's yeah. easy to bury your head in the sand and just go, do you know what? Yeah, man, like life's difficult. Mm -hmm. And it is. You gotta start somewhere, start with one debt, start with the smallest debt, and just go, just go nuts trying to pay that thing off. You've yeah. got to pay it off because that's what will give you that determination you need in order for you to start to become debt free because something needs to absolutely change when it comes to your lifestyle. Yeah, absolutely. The point to lifestyle, now is not the time to be using debt to fund your lifestyle mm -hmm. with such high interest rates. Mm -hmm. You know, before you might have been able to get away with it, but now it's just, it's if, not if you one. can avoid it, like Ken said, with budgeting and looking at your lifestyle, mm -hmm. reducing those costs, yeah. The fourth reason why people paycheck may be living paycheck to paycheck is that they are financing a car for life. Hmm. Now, this is a very inefficient way to own a car. Mm. And we know that there are people that do this, but you're effectively leasing a, leasing a car for life. Whoa, 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 say that again, say that again. I you're said doing what? you're leasing a car for, for life. life. For life, yeah. Woo -woo! yeah. And this is because 
you keep switching from one car to the next car and it becomes a permanent part of your budget. People focus too much on, I can afford these monthly payments, but actually you're missing out on maybe opportunity costs or mm -hmm. there's other unforeseen costs that will occur due to these monthly payments which seem to be affordable, affordable. at the time mm. and research by quickfit which showed that the average price paid upfront for a car is ten thousand five hundred and eleven pounds okay. while those buying on finance opted for cars with an average value of fifteen thousand <laughs> four hundred and thirty eight pounds wow a difference of 47 percent that's nearly 50 percent so basically you're more likely to spend more money on a car due to finance than if you were to pay up front. Funny, we were speaking to some member, we were speaking to Nathan now, we were speaking to a couple recently mm. and they um they <laughs> they they were kinda of laughing that we were still um we were still driving our 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 used Nissan. 2013 Nissan Leaf. Yeah. You know, and we've we've not budged. We've used that car now for six years. And I've said to Mary, we're gonna use it for at least ten years. You know, because I can <laughs> face <laughs> I don't care what anyone thinks, what anyone says, what anyone feels. All I care about <laughs> is the peace, the no problems, the no wahalas. You know, like that oh, car's giving us a lot of peace and it, it has, still works. No, it it has, works really it, well. It, it has given us <laughs> <laughs> so you might think, oh yeah, these guys, they might be doing all right financially. They must be upgrading their car. No way. <laughs> bye, Tesla. <laughs> yeah, bye bye. So, um, Unless it's gifted to us, we're not buying. <laughs> we're not buying another car anytime soon. Trust me. Um, yeah, no. The car has definitely given us a lot of peace compared to like the German cars that we had, which yeah was yeah. quite expensive to run. All right, we're gonna shift gears. So next oh, point: why people are yes. people are living paycheck to paycheck. What's the next? Yeah, one? but that's four years away. We haven't got much time. Oh, okay. I thought you made ten more years. No, no, no. From now, I've got four more years <laughs> before we hit number ten. <laughs> All right. Next point is is that they, they don't have a sufficient emergency fund, okay? So the last 12 months have been brutal for a lot of households, mm. whether you are a high income or a low income or mid income, whatever income. 12 months have been pretty difficult for people and people have, a lot of people have depleted their emergency funds and their savings. And so what people are finding now is, uh, you know, a lot of their work, a lot of the, the grind, a lot of that, you know, going, you know, going to work and making money and living paycheck to paycheck is about trying to now mm. be, rebuild the emergency fund. We actually had someone who commented on our channel who said something really interesting. They said, oh, and I, I thought, oh, wow, this is such a really weird, unfortunate, unfortunate, it's a bit of a weird one. Mm. They basically, they've got a child and they went to have another child, mm. right? And ended up having twins. Oh, wow. Blessings, double Ble blessings. Well, yeah, <laughs> blessings and like, it's like, whoa, yeah. did not expect that. And mm -hmm. obviously that's meant that one of them has had to not go to, not, not keep working anymore because yeah. the cost of childcare yeah. just doesn't make sense for them. Even for one child. So, so one of them's had to stay at home. So, you know, this is a really difficult situation. What we yeah. would do in that scenario is focus greatly on rebuilding the emergency fund. And I know it's difficult, but this has to be the beginning points because even more so now. Even more so because due to high interest rates, yeah, you don't just, want to be getting a loan. Sorry, um, you don't mm. want to get a loan or you know have to fund an emergency with debt. Yeah, with these high interest compounding rates, compounding debt, compounding debt exactly. Yeah. And you know things happen. Car breaks down, the boiler breaks down. You lose your job. Somebody loses exactly the worst thing losing their job. So yeah. I can say we've got loads of videos on how you can build up your emergency fund fast. Mm -hmm. We're gonna to link to it above and below for you to check out. I mean, what other things can people do practically? Um, yeah, no, I think I think that's it. I think you covered that really well. They should definitely yeah. watch that video because we shared 10 tips in that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't want to repeat that here. Please go and watch it as Mary said. Mm -hmm. Then the final point I wanted to make is that people who are high earning are living paycheck to paycheck today because they are paying too much taxes mm. and all or almost all of their allowances have been taken yeah. away. It's hard. Woo! I actually want you to react to that in the, in the comments. This is a painful one, actually, because mm. I kind of feel like a lot of people, there, there's, there isn't really like a reward for wanting to earn higher mm. per se, mm -hmm. because everything just gets okay. taken even more so in taxes, you yeah. know? So 
everything from if you cross a certain level of income, mm -hmm. 100K, like your, your personal allowances. And I know I'm speaking to a, a small group here, mm -hmm. but the same trend happens, you know, whether you're at 50K or whatever, the more you earn, the more you pay in taxes, basically. You know, your personal allowances start to get taken away. We all had the recent, you know, you know, recent tax year end. We had capital allowances being, you know, uh, being reduced. We had dividend allowances being reduced and disappearing. Mm -hmm. There's just, there's literally like an attack yeah. from a tax perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and you were going to say. No, because even if like, for example, the example you use of twins, if they had children, then that means that they do, they're no longer entitled to free 30 hours um, childcare. Potentially. Potentially, if Potentially. they go over the 100K. Potentially. You know? Yeah, which is why okay. some people might be better off actually, both of them earning below 100K so that they still keep yeah. a number of those benefits that they yeah, might be yeah. getting. Yeah. So it, it's really interesting um, at this particular point because, mm -hmm. I mean, how do you start to even escape this? You know, mm -hmm. like, what do you do about it? Yeah. Well, one thing we can do is obviously comes back to lifestyle. I think, honestly, that so many things, some of our, so many of our problems right now financially, mm -hmm. generally speaking, comes back to lifestyle. Everything yeah. comes back to cho the choices we make. Yeah. And it's difficult because once you make a choice, like, for example, where you choose to live, where you buy a house, how much mortgage you take on. Once you make that choice, mm. whew, it is hard to reverse, you it know? It is, it's very hard. It is really hard to reverse. So things like moving into the sticks, you might think, yeah, well, you know, hypothetical. You, it might become your reality, you know? That might be what people might have to end up doing because that might be the only way. In fact, somebody else commented recently on, on our channel saying how they had this couple in London mm -hmm. who were like literally slaving all their hours away to make money to pay for this flat in London is overly stupidly priced. Wow. Until they came to their senses, you know, you know, <laughs> you know it's all relative, right? Yeah. They decided, it's a better way to put it, they decided to move to the Midlands. Wow. And then they bought a detached house for nowhere near what they were paying. Mm -hmm. And then they decided to work a lot less. Mm -hmm. They're enjoying their lives. It's all like lifestyle management now. And yeah, yeah. Life feels good. Wow, I mean, I know what I would prefer for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, no, so sometimes I don't get why people really insist on yeah. living in living in expensive cities. I get it. There's travel costs. There's all those things. Mm. But you really have to weigh up for your own yeah. personal circumstances. What are other things that they can do? Other things they can do is to consider salary sacrificing. So yeah. that way you still keep more of your money, put into your pension. That's a really good one. You could get entitled again to the free childcare. Yes, but that's again yeah. hard because... You know, if you've gotten accustomed to a particular lifestyle, it's quite hard to like taper that down mm. so that you can salary sacrifice, you know, because yeah. that means living on less. So it's even harder. The alternative, what people are doing now is moving abroad. I'm seeing a lot of this is a bigger trend. Mm -hmm. People are moving abroad because yeah. they have to keep more of their money, pay less taxes, you know, and, mm -hmm. and what have you. Or it could be a combination of all of the above. Mm -hmm. Okay. But to wrap up, Mary's going to share in a minute how we can break this, a summary of how to break life, uh, you know, the, the paycheck to paycheck living. Yeah. But I want to wrap up by being super real and share and say something. So if you are in your 40s right now, right now, I'm going to be frank, you probably have a maximum of 10 years, mm -hmm. 10 good years of real career earning potential. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just think about that, 10 years. Yeah, if you're in your 30s, you probably have 10 to 15 years. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, but what that means is this living paycheck to paycheck thing, which you might think is a normal thing to do potentially, like a normal thing, mm -hmm. has to be broken. Yeah. If you want to stop living at the, the you know this rat race, if you want to break this rat race cycle, the paycheck to paycheck life needs to be broken. Yeah. It needs to be it needs to, you need to do something radical to change your life. What are some if you had to summarize, what are some things that people can start to think about? Uh, right now. Okay, so what we'd say is commit to taking some simple steps to build positive financial habits. Mm -hmm. So what are these financial habits? Budgeting, regularly reviewing your spending and mm -hmm. setting achievable financial goals. Mm -hmm. All of this will help you to take control of your future finances mm -hmm. and manage the impact of rising cost of living, mm -hmm. inflation, high interest rates, you know, with greater confidence. Yep. 
So we want to, we're going to link to a video that we did, which is 23 Easy Money Habits. habits. We're going to mm -hmm. link to it above and below, again, for you to check, check it out, out in your own time. Mm -hmm. And that will give you some more practical tips on just what you can do to help you stop living paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. Next is that you need to subscribe to a mm -hmm. cheaper and simpler lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So live very much below your means. Is there anything you wanted to add to that? Yeah, I want to add that debt. Debt is... There needs to be a war on debt, basically. You've got to get rid of debt in your life. Mm. You know, there are all these things, if you pay very close attention, that encourage you to, to do things like extend your mortgage term and like go on interest only. And yeah. like all these things that encourage you, mm. you know, indirectly to essentially stay in debt and stay mm -hmm. shackled. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd say like, you need to really declare war on debt. Mm -hmm. You need to fight it. Literally. Don't. Don't let debt become a way out to sponsor your lifestyle. You've got to break that cycle. So, you know, get out of living in your overdraft. Get out of doing the, using the things Mary said, the habits, possible, um, financial habits and so on. Mm -hmm. You will over time will be challenged, but you have to break that cycle. Yeah. Next, we obviously mentioned this before, you need to build a solid emergency fund. And then finally, you need to start to do everything possible to earn more. We've mm -hmm. talked a, a great deal about this on our channel. You can go and watch our side hustle. Yeah making more money playlists it's like a ton of stuff there but better than making more money is keeping more money yeah that is absolutely what needs to happen for this cycle of living paycheck to paycheck should be to be broken but we want to hear from you guys in comments are you currently living paycheck to paycheck we want to hear from you and what would you say is the biggest thing the biggest driver for that cycle of paycheck to paycheck living in your life. Mm -hmm. Jump in the comments and let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And as always, in, in all, all things, things, be thankful, thankful and, and seek joy. joy. Take, Take care, care, guys. Bye.